You can just see your back. Hi everybody! Whoa! <laughs> so, um, on the back of last week's uh, One Year On video, um, we said to you that we we do a Q&A kind of section. Yep. Um, so what we've done is we've actually designed our own little questions. Ray doesn't know what I'm going to ask him or throw at him and I don't know what he's going to throw at me. So um, to start it off, we'll just let you know, my name is Gareth, I'm the Tatties part of the Rising Tatties Boys. Uh, I was born in Wales, I've spent 30 odd years in Edinburgh. I used to work on cruise ships and I met somebody on them and I moved with them to Edinburgh. And that's how I landed up in Edinburgh. And while I've been here, I've had my own bistro up in the north of Scotland, in Forest, which you've seen the video on here for. Um, then we settled into Edinburgh and most of that I've either worked in catering and in caring. So most of my life since 2000 has been in caring and at the moment I'm a registered nurse. I did my training oh, 2015, started and finished in 2019. And I am now working in the lovely hospital in Edinburgh for rehab and I've got I just love it. It's really good. So that's a little bit about me. Is that about Ray? That's very thorough. I don't know if I can cope with that. Uh, I mean, can't um, yeah, do the same thing, but I'll try. <laughs> so my name is Ray. Um, I am a Filipino who grew up in Switzerland, who now lives in Scotland. Um, my accent is just because it's not really American. My friends. To tell me it's American, um, here in Europe to say it's American, my American friends, no, they tell me, no, it's more European slash Filipino slash American-ish. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, I am 40 odd years, not gonna tell you. Oh yeah, I'm 55, I don't care about my age. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm actually 27. <laughs> and I work in uh, as an IT professional um, for uh, most of my career and now yeah living now in Scotland living the dream as they say so do you want to go first or shall I go first in questions uh, disclosure though we didn't really um, write our own questions we picked it up picked them up in, um, no I actually wrote a couple of my own Oh, did he? Uh -huh. All right, let's do this. Okay. Shall I go first then? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, first question: Have you ever met somebody famous? <gasps> like in person? Yeah. Yes. Um, one Filipino star. Um. Um. She keep in head down, but what did you, she do? You, uh, you, guys, you guys won't know her, but she did um a one song <laughs> in the Philippines. <laughs> but but then it was it was like the biggest thing, and she had the most loveliest vo uh, loveliest voice, and because she's Filipino, so normally yeah, um, <laughs> and and I met Jason Medford. <laughs> I yeah, just sang a song with him, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I actually sang uh, also a song that was did it in, my way? in his... No. What was that? That's a drunken man's song. What did you say? <laughs> I sang This Is The Moment from, oh. the, um, um, from the musical Jekyll and Hyde. And he actually sang that in his album. And he, he just like, oh, when, when it was his turn to sing in the karaoke, I said, come on, Ray. So I sang with Jason Manford. Yes, Ben. Claim to fame. I did sing with Jason Manford. I was just beside him. <laughs> Jealous much. Sure. <laughs> what have you got for me? Right. Um, well, what you can answer your question as well. No, because we've only got one hour worth of filming. Oh, no. Thanks, sir. Have I met famous people? Loads. Because I used to work on the QE2. Um, and I worked in Dalhousie Castle in Edinburgh. So which one is the most... Um, Shirley Bassey. Is that the one the, the oh, most... Yeah, Terry Wogan. 
Elton John. How about if it's like the most, the most personal? One? Duran Duran. Okay. Brother Beyond. Okay. Never mind. Right said Fred. <laughs> I'm asking a question. <laughs> there was a few. Shelly Bassey was quite funny because one of the guys <laughs> walked into the room and he said, Oh, here's your tea or whatever. He got to, there's no answer. And he goes, Excuse me, excuse me. And when he actually got behind, it was like a frame in front of. When he got behind, it was actually her wig that was sitting there, and she was in the shower. <laughs> I was talking to her wig. Anyway. I'm sure the Bassy is the most um, iconic. Absolutely. Yeah. And she's okay. Welsh. Anyways. Well, this one is um, quite a nice um, question. Where would you, where would you most like to go on vacation? Well, you know, I absolutely adore the Philippines and we've had to cancel that holiday this year. But I've already been to the Philippines, so if I was picking somewhere I haven't been, I'd probably love to go to San Francisco for just a weekend or something like that. Because I've been told it's a great city, but it's also a bunker city and you don't want to spend too much time there. So I suppose I'd really like, would like to go vacation to um, San Francisco. But also, and this is where my niece might come in handy, I really would like handy. to see, see New Zealand properly. <laughs> I've been to New Zealand on the QE2, but I was in the 80s. So it's like, I really would like to tour around New Zealand and see New Zealand and Hobbiton. I'd love to go to Hobbiton. Yeah, I would say, like him, the Philippines as well. But like, I really definitely want to go to Australia and New Zealand. Um, like, the, um, like, yeah, Hobbiton and... Uh, where they shot um, Lord of the Rings, but also I want to go scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef before the whole thing dies because mm -hmm. it's actually dying right now. So, oh, and just for the record, how spooky is that? Just literally just said we want to go to New Zealand, and my niece just messaged me on here. Right, was in New Zealand. So, if you could live anywhere. Where would that be? Live? Yeah. Anywhere. Hmm. I've always wanted to, to move to the UK anyway, so I, I'm already here. Um, but where? Oof. That's a good question. I think I would be between Sipson and the Philippines, to be fair. <laughs> uh, to, be, to be fair. Really? I know, we're well travelled, eh? Well, yeah, just because it's nice yeah. um, and it's, it's home for me, both countries, of course, but also that you love both countries. Yeah, I think if I had to choose from the two, I think easily Philippines, Philippines. would win. <laughs> um, I've always said, ever since the day I've been there, well, just pack up tomorrow and just go and live there. Um, so yeah, Philippines would be for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My next question, 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 would you rather go for a hot air balloon ride or a bungee jump or, a, or a skydiving? None of them. I'm no, petrified. it's either one of the yeah, three. I'm petrified of heights, so I, I definitely couldn't jump for the bungee jump. That would never happen. And I suppose in a hot air balloon, you start on the ground and it kind of lifts you up, so that would be easier to cope with. And you could sit inside it and not actually look over the edge, so there's thinking. But skydiving, if it was in tandem, I would maybe consider it with my legs like that on the door of the airplane and the guy just pushing me out, basically. So just I would say <laughs> the tandem, a tandem skydive. I would go solo skydiving if I can, but um, just to support him, I would go first on a tandem, but I would want to go on, on, on lessons and just go skydive myself. I'll bring my scissors. <laughs> Have you ever fired a real gun? Yeah, of course. Not everybody has, right? You're answering that as if it's... Everybody fires a real gun. <laughs> well, yes. We don't I, live in the States. Um, I did. Um, I was in the, arm, in the Swiss Army because we had to, okay? I, I didn't go there for because I want to be, you know, ha, hoo ha, kind of thing. No. Um, <laughs> in Switzerland, between ages of, uh, uh, between age of 18 and 26, 
you are supposed to go to to the army and do your military training. So uh, yes, I have um, shot a rifle. I've shot a four five um, caliber gun as well. What else? Oh, um, Panzer Faust. No, 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 not a Panzer Faust. Like, uh, oh, like a bazooka, but it's not really a bazooka. But yeah, a BB gun. I've not shot a gun at all. I think oh. it'd be, I think it'd be quite scared shooting a gun because I'm a little bit clumsy at times. So I'd probably shoot my foot. Mm. So I have thrown on uh, uh, um, several real hand grenades. Oh so weird. Okay, there's this one one exercise that we had to do, and then it's uh, it's our test that we have to do, right? So we throw the the, the hand grenade, and then um my my um crazy lieutenant told me like, right, hold hold your hand grenade, uh, pull out the pin. Okay, what do I do? It's a live grenade. What do I do? Just put it over the the wall. What? Yeah, just put it over the wall, just behind us. Did it blow up? Yeah! <laughs> that was the weirdest thing. I was like, woo! <laughs> but in wait, waiting in line for our turn going into the, the test, you be shit. everyone was petrified. Yeah, yeah. It was dead silence. No one was talking. We were like, I need to rest. And then everyone was like, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What do you got for me? Oh. My turn, All right? Um, <laughs> what's the dumbest thing you've ever done? Oh my god. <laughs> there are quite a few, I suppose. Uh, the one that pops up. Some of them are quite rude, so... But, what's the dumbest thing I've ever done? That's a really difficult question to be on the spot for. So... I don't know, I do dumb stuff all the time. It's like... I buy stuff I don't need, I'm extremely impatient, so through my impatience I do dumb shit like spend hours phoning people just trying to sort things out like this morning, like nearly three hours trying to sort out and cancel a flight, but I'm so persistent on it, you know, I waste the time, um, I, I don't know, I know it's not dumb, but I don't know actually, that's a hard question. I don't know. You tell them what you've done dumb first and I'll have a think. See? It's difficult, <laughs> isn't it? What's the dumbest thing I've ever done? Oh, um, oh I guess... Um, well, I was a kid and um, uh, <laughs> there was a fan. And I was like, oh. What do you mean a fan? A fan, like a... So you put your finger in it? I put a finger in it. Yeah, I, I, I have, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have the scar to prove it here. <laughs> but uh, it was stupid. You know why? Because I don't know why my family actually... Been, you know those fans that has the, the, the frame at the back and the yeah, front? Yeah, well, why the front? Uh, why didn't I have it? And the, the, the front wasn't, wasn't there. I must have fallen off. I, I genuinely can't think of anything. I mean, I do stupid stuff all the time, but I wouldn't call it dumb. You know, like, uh, dumb. So, no, I can't answer that. Like in your 50th birthday or something like that, 40th birthday, when you went... Went what? When you went down with, the, uh, with your friends to that Krishna tea, and think dumb you did there. You must have done something dumb. Like, for example, if you're, like, drunk or something. I've been drunk many a time. Uh huh. Um, and done stupid stuff. Oh, there you go. I don't call it dumb though. It's like and dumb is stupid. I've been in full drag and walked down Broughton Street and vomited in every single doorstep. I mean, that, that's dumb. It's just stupid. Do you know what I mean? So, and her name was or Samantha, is Samantha Swallows. <laughs> <laughs> so go. Yeah. Kind of, that was kind of a hard question, actually. I, know. I have done lots of stupid stuff, trust me. But I don't pass that as dumb. So what really pisses you off? Pisses me off? Mm. Impatient people. <laughs> and dumb people. <laughs> people who do dumb stuff piss me off. They don't actually, I find them funny. Uh, just very impatient people. I am impatient. 
I'm, I'm well aware of that I am an impatient person, but my impatience has actually got me through a lot of stuff. It's because I push and push and push because of the impatience. I get like the final thing I wanted is done. Do you know what I mean? Because so people on the other end of the phone are getting so fed up with me that they actually just eventually say, just give this man what he wants because he's annoying us. And because if you don't, he'll just keep phoning and he'll keep at you until he gets what he wants. So I think that's why we work with I'm more patient than, than he is. I'm really more patient. And it's also to my own detriment as well. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> but that's, well, that's why I am because I'm a kind person and a lovable person. Everybody loves Ray. I think <laughs> what pisses me off is like people who don't really appreciate what they have. Do you know what I mean? They've got good things in life. But they're still whining and moaning about life, and it's like life's quite whining. precious. No, but life life is quite precious though. So I think you need to seize the moment, do what you can with it, and stop whining. Do you know what I mean? That's what pisses me. What have we got? Right. So. Oh, well, this is another. Um, okay, this is the last uh, serious one I think. Serious. If you could ask me one question, anything in the world. What would you want to know? Mm. When was the first time you seriously thought, I love that man? June 29, 2017. Oh. I know that's kind of true, <laughs> Do you want the hour? Uh -huh. It was late. <laughs> no, it wasn't late. <laughs> So uh, what would you want to ask me? Hmm? What would you want to ask me? How do I keep my good looks? Or my youth? Oh, from my question? Yeah. Um, I know mostly... Uh, every, every yeah, because I'm not I'm quite an open book. I don't know. I think. But... See, that's like that dumb question for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it back to that. I don't know. See, did you? Um, hmm, I don't know. want to know. We'll come back to it at the end if you yeah, think of something. Yeah, I don't know. Otherwise, you're because going to he, be is a, he is an open book. So, he has no secrets. Oh, I don't have any secrets uh, with him. No, we don't, do we? So, we're quite open with each other. Which sometimes, another thing that might piss each other off. But, I, I think our openness is what keeps us kind of sane together. Because we, we understand exactly where we're at. So. Yeah. Um, what TV show do I like that you hate? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let me count the ways. Um, <laughs> um, there's that show. It's okay. But I wouldn't watch it. Again and again, he watches it again. It's that dinner, ladies. Oh, it's it's. I don't don't get me wrong. I don't hate it, but he would watch it <laughs> again and again and again and again, and I'm like, no. Do you know? I think dinner, ladies, because I worked in catering, right? It is so spot on the truth of what happens in a canteen like that. I've worked in a canteen, I've worked in a hospital canteen, and it's just like that. It's the reality, it's quite funny. So yeah, I do love the dinner ladies. Mine is that thing that you watch, that you're on <laughs> episode 5682 no, or something. No, 500 something. Oh my god. And it's, so it's, what's it called? It's anime, it's Naruto. Naruto. And it just, and there's a whining little girl on it all the time, and she Sakura. just, and that's how she just goes through my head, and that's I can hear her all the time, happened. and then she goes, and, oh, it's just like so annoying, but I, I, I'm the same as you and me, dinner as but I don't hate it, but it just annoys me in the background. It just, yeah, it yeah, he, he won't, he won't watch it, like as. If, if I think I've watched an episode. On, if, if Dinner Ladies is on, I'd be like, yeah, I'll watch something else. To do your thing. <laughs> <Are you bad? laughs> so, ooh, what are the three things on your bucket list? Um, to get married. That's one. 
Um, <laughs> for my bucket list. To probably t to see New Zealand properly. I really would like to see New, New Zealand properly. And to go on an amazing cruise when I retire. Mm -hmm. So that's two though. Married. Oh, man. Cruise. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> That's it, not that true. Fuck it, list. <laughs> I'm trying to hide away from it. <laughs> uh, me, what's my bucket list? Um, well, actually, I want to, 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 to buy a property and. Okay, well, that's not a bucket list anymore. It's, it's, a it's gone off the bucket list. The bucket list is something that oh, I yes. still need to, to do. To, to do. Um, win a big price, like money. I don't know how, like, no, for free. That would be great. You have to do things on that, don't you? It's like, we neither of us do the lottery or anything, so you're going to have to it's start doing that to get that. Well, can happen. Well, not without you doing things, no. Uh, bucket list would, uh, for me, would be, really would be, wow, I uh, would be able to sing in front of a lot of people in a, like, um, a baton or something. In, yeah, or even sing with a celebrity on the stage on their, uh, during their concert and then just sing, with Elton John. sing my, you know, sing I with Elton John. It. <laughs> He's referring for, uh, to that song, It's a Sin. It's when, what, what is it? BAFTA or something? No, some, some sort yeah, it's, of. It's um, an old pet shop one. The, the yeah, guy, I know. Ollie and. What you call it? It's for a too. program or an event, yeah. something like that. So uh, check it out. It's a sin. It's um, a great song. Years it's and years. One in the chat. Elton I John. Miss it. But Elton John's gone a little bit old for singing. Okay. So, have you ever broken the law? Just be honest. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's going to arrest you. I did over speed. Have I? I did over speed once. Of speed in your car. Did oh. you get caught? Uh, uh, yes. No, actually no. Driving, driving without, <laughs> without sure. an insurance. And that you did get caught. <laughs> I, I, yeah, that one, yeah. Um, yeah it's cost a lot of money. That, yeah, exactly. That and was an accident. That was an accident just because I thought that um, my insurance would... Um, um, auto-renew. Auto-renew, but no. Um, things here in the UK don't work like that, so I got caught up on my second year. I stole, as a kid, I stole a chocolate bar out of the village, the village I come from, a little cafe shop. I do apologise. Oh, you were, only, you were the only gay in the village. I don't think I was. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Um, is it me? Are you? What do you like best about me, physically? Physically? I don't know, your, your whole demeanor is quite nice. You got yeah, nice which one? Which bit? I think. You got nice arms. Arms. He's got nice arms. Oh, okay. Well, uh, the same. <laughs> <laughs> My lily white eyes. Yeah, it's nice and fun. <laughs> 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 Moving swiftly on from the bottoms. No, is, the um, oh, behave. <laughs> uh, what's the best childhood memory of you and your siblings? Um, that one. We went on a trip with, um, with Robbie's friend, with the whole family and Robbie's friend. And it was just like one of those um family trips that we went out in in Switzerland. We went to the Valorb cave, and it was just. The funniest thing um, that that happened to us—it's just a lot of a lot of things. And uh, for my family, if I say Sholo, yeah, Sholo, that one, that particular moment, <laughs> but Sholo, it's just because we were supposed to go into this hot spring kind of thing in this. I think it was in Bern. Um, and then, um, not a hot spring, but like a spa kind of thing, like a mm -hmm. water treatment kind of place. Um, and not, not water treatment, no, sorry, <laughs> not what I mean, like a... Uh, Sewage. Like... <laughs> 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 a 
start the long way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I drank some poop. No. <laughs> um, it was like like a spa place kind of kind of thing. And and then and then my mom says, Oh, there's a hospital and that looks like a hospital just in front of it. Oh, oh maybe that's why the, they put it there so that you know the, the old people with problems and all that go there and so that they can have um their treatment there. And we were like yeah, not going there, no. No. <laughs> my mom just um, stopped doing it afterwards because you were we were talking to fr uh, in French and she was like, it's hot water, so it's hot water. Show, oh, show law. And then, oh my God. yeah, no, it's, <laughs> don't worry. It was, it was a family thing. It's, it, there was a thing that happened there. That it was a happy me. memory. It was a really, really happy ah. thing. So, it wasn't, it's not funny now, it's just, it's a particular thing that our family just, um, when we remember it, it's, it's just the funniest thing. <laughs> I remember when we went, like we used to do coach trips when we were kids, but like, so we'd go to different parts of the world. I remember going to Switzerland, I remember going to Lucerne and stuff like that with my sister mostly. Um, my brothers wasn't really involved in those kind of holidays. But yeah, going on our little coach trips um, to Switzerland and Belgium and France and stuff like that, they were really, really happy, happy times. Yeah, yeah. That's why he actually one part, one of his bucket list is to become Brandon from Coach Trip. I could be Brandon from Coach Trip. But <laughs> put a picture of Brandon here. See, they look alike. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, ooh, who would play your love interest, aka me, in a movie? That camp um, Filipino guy that's on the internet with the heels. <laughs> that would be hilarious. He's off. Um, <laughs> oh my, oh my I gosh! Know. I don't know if I'm, I, I should be offended or not. I don't know who could play your, you as my love interest. If you had, uh, like, you know... If I could choose the Yeah, person. of course, that's, that's the thing, that's the question. Oh, Sean Morales from the <laughs> Pit Crew. Pit Crew from mm -hmm. Drag Race. Drag Race. So Sean, Sean Morales. Morales. Um, Google that. Mm -hmm. I'll put a picture here. Yum. But he's not Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> no. Could play me. Let's say you. Dashing me. Which handsome person? Incredible Hulk. Incredible okay, Hulk. No. Um, I don't know. I would say Kevin James. Kevin James, who's he? Ah! You know, um, Hitch? With, yeah. um, um, Will Smith, who is like this, um, mm. matchmaker. Mm -hmm. And then the guy he who wants to be with this gorgeous um lady. Alright. Him. We'll put his picture here too. Yeah. I think we'll put both of their pictures. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good question actually. Uh who's the better dancer? He wishes it was him. <laughs> I'm just an eighties mover. Yeah. You want me you want me to show this his move? No, it's like a... <laughs> yeah, you can just see your belly. Yeah, that's fine. No, yes, it's, it's like a good a... belly. It's good. I'm a good mover. You ask the girls at work. We dance all the time. <laughs> uh huh. You don't dance much. <laughs> You're quite a standy dancey. Well, that's dancing, dancing. If I have to dance, then, uh, then I'll dance. We're going to a wedding soon. Maybe we'll take a wee video. Uh, that would be a Kaylee. No, it's a disco. There's no Kaylee. Oh, disco. Right. So we're down to the penultimate question. Oh, no, there's not no? for you, is it? Yeah, it will be. How many questions? That's the one question. No, I have like... Um, three. Than, you got more than ten then. You missed one then. No. I, I put numbers there, so I don't know what you, you put there. You missed something. Anyway. <laughs> so what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Oh, the, that chicken 
intestines in the Philippines was chemistry. <gasps> Isao. But it's, it's actually, it's actually tastes okay. It tastes like a liver. Um, I don't feel, you know, I, I'm one of these people that genuinely I will put, <laughs> I know you're going to laugh at this, but I'll put anything in my mouth. But I will try anything. <laughs> so I think just because something doesn't look so good, you should try it because it might taste good. But I would really struggle to put something like a Scorpio or something in my mouth only because I find them creepy when they're alive, let alone dead. So, yeah. what about you? Oh, um, in the Philippines, um, there's this dish called Diniguan and I didn't know what it was but friends of ours in, back in the province in Bicol told me it was good so I had like maybe half not even half of, of a cup of a you know, plastic cups and I was like I wanted to barf what was that? it's um pig blood stew yeah. well, yeah. I, well see I love black pudding and stuff yeah, but the pig blood stew. Uh, so Actually, thinking about it makes was me it runny? Go, oh. Was it runny? No, it was like a broth with um um thick brown uh, like thick, like you know when you had like curdled like um when you put an uh, an egg in a egg drop soup uh -huh. kind of thing like that. But it's it's you could taste you could feel the texture of it. So that's bloody then. It's just broth. Uh. Thing. But uh, when we go back to the Philippines, I think, well, because I've never eaten balut, Google it, balut. <laughs> I've eaten everything else except for the for the embryo. So <laughs> I think uh, we're both going to try it when yeah, we go to the Philippines. So. You'll see that video one day. No. <laughs> so you've got two questions left, so you might as well ask the next one again then. I don't know okay. If you woke up tomorrow as the opposite sex, what would be the top three things you'd do? <laughs> I'd probably play with my boobs. Just, <laughs> yeah, I would. I would do as well. I would shut my boobs. I would do as well. I'd be like, ooh. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, that, this is this, us every, that, this yeah. say, saying that when you have big boobs, yeah. you might have small boobs. You might have small boobs. <laughs> but I probably have a good feel about boobs because it must be weird having boobs. I'd want to feel what it would be like to have a baby grow inside you because I think that must be the most amazing thing that you could ever go through as a human. And I think the most uh, painful. I think probably yes, but uh, rewarding, I suppose. And it's like just to feel a baby grow inside you, that must be kind of. But I don't think you could just do it straight away in a day. Um, like and I would like to. Alien. I would like to dress provocatively, and walk down the street where there's loads of workies, and oh, see no. and see what reactions no, get. No, no, no. Sorry, I'm actually thinking. Um, picturing <laughs> you like that. Boops like right now, Boops with, with that. Oh no, like a cross dresser <laughs> thing. No, no. Just to see if I can get the wolf whistles. I know a lot of women do get upset about that, and I, if that's your thing, I really do sorry. But I would just like to see if I could turn the boys on. Yeah. You as a cross dresser, though, no, I don't I think so. I wouldn't be cross dressed. I wouldn't be. I would be a woman. You said I would be an opposite sex. Yeah, I know. But what you told me there, just, just. Just a, a vision of you dressing in like a cro cross dresser, just like, oh my gosh. Mm. What about you? Me? What yeah, I'll play with my boobs. Mm -hmm. What else? Um, I'd be kind of really intrigued on what's happening down there. Okay. Well, I, I, I don't know that. Why well, don't you just go to a gynecologist? No. <laughs> then you'd find out exactly no. what's down there. <laughs> and, and... I don't know. Maybe just go out and dress fancy and be like, ah, ah. Be all girly. I'll be girly, yeah. Sucking a lollipop. I want to suck my lollipop. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, lastly for myself, where do you see it in five years' time? Five years' time? Mm. Well, You'll be 
hopefully getting more money <laughs> because I'll be teaching. Hopefully. Hopefully. If everything goes right. I don't know if I will, I'll be teaching, but we'll see. Um, what else? Um, I think we'll still be here. If we travel, then we'll not, if we can. Yeah, yeah, that's our. That's nice that's if the world yeah. problems as it is at the moment just lifted, and the fear of COVID and stuff has gone away, so that we can really grasp some decent bit of traveling, like get good holidays every year, work hard, do some overtime, get money together for holidays, and just travel and hopefully have the the vlog itself as well, the um, YouTube channel doing really well and people enjoying what we do and. So it kind of encourages to do a bit more and stuff. So that'd be nice. Yeah, I would like that. I'm actually thinking it's not actually recorded. I can see a red button. So see you next to mine. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that will help you understand us a little bit more, to give you an idea of who we are, um, and hopefully you had a bit of a laugh going through it as well. Hopefully. And um, as always, if you enjoyed it, obviously, please subscribe. If you don't, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And share the video if you can as well, because it's always good for people to, to have fun and then enjoy Somewhere themselves. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, because that's always a good thing. And if you didn't like it, give us a thumbs down, because that's the whole point of it. So, we hope you enjoyed the video today. Have you got anything to say to finish? Um... Stay awesome. <laughs> Think positive. Oh, <laughs> you stole that from somebody else. No, sorry, my no, <laughs> Um, no, and just um, be safe, guys. And um, life is short. Yeah. Life is short. Just do things that make you happy. Yeah. Live every moment you can. Yeah. Safely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do Enjoy everything hundred percent. And never regret um, anything in your life. You can't. Be kind. Because you only, sometimes you only get one one chance of yeah. things and Absolutely. just seize the moment. Just one chance of this, isn't it? So we'll hopefully see you all again next week. Until then, and I hope you enjoyed our new filming on our new camera. I'm hoping it's good quality for you. Um, we'll <laughs> see you all next week. Bye. Bye.